What's good, everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel with your truly, of course, Machiavelli. And today, we are back with another speed build. And today's speed build, I have no clue we're making because it's another one of my... What's it called again? I don't remember the name. I still remember it to this day. <laughs> this is the video. I just finished making the other commentary, so I'm making this one right now. Um, I don't know what it was called. What is it called? What is it called? I don't remember. What is it called? Um... Oh my god. What was it called again? Something like pre-recording with Mal Mali? Mal I have no clue what I named myself, but some, some weird name. But yeah, we're back with some pre-recording. So hope y'all having a great day. Hope you all are safe. Hope y'all are social distancing. Hope you all are not, okay, you don't have to be introverted or you have to be like anti-social. That's totally fine. Do what you got to do. Just be socially distant. That's it. You know, and be safe. That's all. Have a great day. <laughs> have, and have a good day. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly, I have nothing else to talk about right now. Actually, that's a lie. I do. I actually have like a story time for you guys. Because I remember in the last part, I started talking about how evil I was. Well, we're going to continue with that. Because I'm going to tell you guys all about the stuff I did when I was a kid. Well, at least I have one story. After that, I probably will change it up. Hold up. Mom? What's up? Okay, it's right here. I was vacuuming my room. Want to say hello to the people? No. Okay. Hello. There you go, that's my mom. Oh, by the way, it was her birthday yesterday, so give her a happy birthday message if you want to in the comments below. Actually, it wasn't her birthday yesterday. It was her birthday on the 22nd. You're all seeing this on the probably... The Did I say the 22nd? Yes. I love you. I messed Which up. yesterday. Well, no, right. but this, this is pre-recorded. Uh, so this is not going up until tomorrow. Okay. So they won't know, but okay. they'll probably... um. By the way, that's my mom's voice. I know, sexy. Oh, did I just call my mom sexy? Oh, my God. Anyways, moving on. Um, But... Bye. Okay, but yeah, so if you want to go ahead and leave her birthday comment down below in the comment section, in the in the comment section down below, in the, oh god, y'all, I'm so embarrassed, what did I just say? Did I just, my mom's not gonna let me live that, like, y'all, I just said, see, when I ramble, I don't think, my mom just said bye. <laughs> I just, anyways, um, I just said that. Oh, who says that? Like, like my brain couldn't think of anything better. See, this is what happens when you when you when you speak before you think. You say the stupidest stuff. My mom just ran fast. She's like, okay, bye. But um, anyways, yeah, my mom's birthday was on the twenty first. If you wanna go ahead and leave a birthday message, go ahead and do it, and I'll read it to her. Um, maybe I'll do a commentary where I get her reactions on the birthday messages. Who knows? But. Anyways, forget what I just said. I'm not going to edit that out. That's some real life stuff right there. But I just said my mom has a sexy voice. Any I need to go see, I need, I need to go to a counselor or something. I need to check that out. That that's um anyways, moving on from that. We're going to we're going to anyways. Um so how y'all doing? Hope y'all doing great. Hope you all are thriving. I am highly embarrassed but i'm thriving too you know everything's good in the hood not really my mom like you understand my mom is gonna make fun of me for the rest of my life for that but let's go on with our conversation of why am i like that you see can we talk about that real quick i'm such a weird person like i know like <laughs> let me know this guys thing is I have, I have no, I, I don't have a filter in a sense. Like, I'll say stuff without thinking, right? And, but the thing is with me is, I'll know, like, I'll have this split thinking, like, don't open your mouth. Like, for example, um, the other day, right? I, I flip and hate myself for doing this. I, I, so pretty much now, you have to wait up in lines, right, to go into stores. So I was going to Walmart, and I didn't bring my phone. I walked out the house, closed the door, got into my car, and realized, wait, I don't have my phone on me. I should probably go get my phone. I said to myself, I said in my mind, I should probably go get my phone because you know what? I'm probably going to need it. I'm be in the line for a long time. I have nothing else to do. I should get my phone so I can do something, right? All is good. I go, nah, I drive off, right? Why? Why? And then I get to the place, right? And then I wait in line. I'm like, why the fuck did I get my phone? I hate doing that because I, like, 
I don't know what it is. I think my common sense kicks in and I tell it to like move out the way. Like I don't need no common sense. But oh my, I hate that. I do it all the time. And even when I was saying I'm never going to do that again, I end up doing it still. It's so annoying. But anyways, I had to go ahead and rant about that because that situation happened. I knew like, I don't say I knew it, but like I had a, a mini thought that maybe you shouldn't say that. But then it just blurted out and that, that's something I'm not. Why am I so like, bro, you should see me. I'm just like. When I talk and when I get like very hyped, I move around. So if you see me go like ha ha ha, like my voice is getting like in and out, in and out. It's because I'm moving around. Like I'm jumping up and down. I don't know. <laughs> I'm weird like that. But yeah, I had to, I had to go ahead and rant about that because like okay, question of the day: What is your biggest pet peeve about yourself? That's my biggest. What is actually? I have a bunch. That's one of my biggest is the fact that I don't listen to my common sense. Like for example, I'm on a test and I know for a fact that this is not the answer and I still pick it and I get it wrong. Exactly. It, it makes no sense. I'm so stupid sometimes. It's ridiculous. Like, <laughs> I don't even know. But anyways, yeah. Question of the day. What is your biggest pet peeve about yourself that you wish you can change, but it's like a weird habit that just doesn't want to go away. But yeah. Anyways, back to what the whole comment was about. Commentary was about my little misdoing I how pretty much the story but how I got my brother beat on his birthday so it's a pretty it's not even that long of a story but I'm gonna go ahead and add some fluff to it joking I'm just gonna get straight to the point so pretty much um uh I think it was his I don't even know his seventh sixth birthday no 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 even younger than that because he came here when he was six and that probably happened on his fourth yeah I got my brother slapped on his fourth birthday great brother i know um but uh this so what happened was pretty much uh i was playing around so his piano birthday party and i was playing around pretty much and i accidentally knocked over the juice jug and listen when you have a black parent and she looks at you with the fear of god not fear of god but with the whole mighty god's face that you're about to get your ass beaten to the point of redness you come up with any kind of idea you can come up with right and so what happened was <laughs> i was playing and i was playing with uh, I, was play I was playing with my little brother so it's his birthday so i was playing with him right and i accidentally <laughs> i accidentally knocked over the juice jug and then he was just, so i was staring at it because it was a big crash so he was staring at it and I was staring at it, and we were both, like, standing there. And we were so, like, it was in the middle of us, right? So my mom comes over, and with the fear of God, she's like, who did this? Who knocked over the juice jug? And I looked at, I, I me and my brother looked at each other, and he was looking down, and I was like, I can't do this. I can't take the fall for this. I cannot take the fall for this. I'm like, Marie did it. <laughs> and Marie, <looked, laughs> oh, this is not, I shouldn't laugh at this. Marie looked at me like, like, if, if there was a face for, like, the like that the WTF if there was a double T F face for like I'll, 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 any bitty kid he gave me that face he's like what 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 do you mean and before he could say anything my mama snatched him up and like literally in front of everybody gave him a smack on the bum like how could you talk of I'm just sitting there like ooh like I'm just sitting there like a smooth criminal like I just did that like did I feel bad yes but like I was like I didn't want that beating though I really didn't want it so I sat through it but my brother got three spanks then she walked him upstairs and like spanked him like three more times because we heard him yell out and then and then he started crying and then he said, saying, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. And then I felt really bad after that. And then the party kind of like, you know when like the party just dispersed after that? Because it was pretty much the, mostly the end of the party anyways. Like the kick and everything was done, people were starting to leave. And so the, pretty much the party started dying down. And pretty much 30 minutes later, I kind of felt really bad. <laughs> I didn't, like all I heard was him like little, little weeps upstairs. I felt feeling really bad. So I went upstairs and I walked upstairs and I knocked on the door. And when I walked in, my brother's head was laying on my mom's lap. And she was bawling his eyes out. My mom was was like like brushing his hair like trying to like soothe him and i go mom i am the one who um i'm the one who <laughs> who broke the juice drug and she's like i know and she's like i'm never gonna trust you literally her words i so it's funny because this is it's funny because you remember things right i was so young then but i still remember those words to this day fresh to this day she's like i'm never going to trust a word you say ever again malik 
and then she dismissed she just dismissed me like she didn't even close the door she just like looked back down and my brother started brushing him while he weeped and i and you could tell you just dismissed and i walked away that was that my i'm saying make fun of me <laughs> until that day i'm just like wow that really happened but yeah that was the day and that was my brother's like i don't feel bad i ruined his fourth birthday but I ruined it. I really did ruin it. My mom was so mad at me after that. I don't think she talked to me after. I think my mom gave me my mom gave me the silent treatment after that. I was like what seven. <laughs> she didn't talk to me for the next day. She was so mad at me. She didn't even she she didn't have the will to like beat me. She just <laughs> did that. But anyways, first of all, if you're gonna criticize my mom for like you know whacking us on the bum when we were a kid, don't. It shaped me to be a better man. So don't don't criticize her. She's a queen treat her like that and if i honestly if anybody honestly criticizes my mom in the comment section you're being blocked point blank period i don't play joke about with me but don't talk about my family like it's done there's no going back like, like, like i said like, like i said once once you get to negativity i cut you off like even if you're my subscriber even if you've been following me for how long do not come for my mom or my brother or else you're gone you're gone period point blank that's it I won't tolerate it. Okay, come for me as much as you want to, but not them. I won't tolerate that. Zero tolerance level. I got serious real quick because I don't tolerate that. I remember somebody wrote something about my mom a few years back, and I blocked that person so quick, you won't even know. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Like, you want to watch my... Oh, actually, no. It's up to you. But if you want to continue watching my content, don't talk bad about my family. That's it. But moving on from that, so yeah, that's pretty much that for that story. Um, wow, that got serious so quick, you know? I just have to go ahead and point that out because, again, I just I, I just can't. I don't have tolerance for that. I can handle me people saying whatever you want about me. Just don't involve them. Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. <laughs> because, like I said, I'm... I can get, I won't lie, I, I, do I have a nasty side? I'm honestly, I'm, I'm a nice person. I'm a very nice person. I'm easy to get along with. But once I turn into like your enemy and once you do me dirty, like I do two things. I'll cut you off. But like, if we're like enemy to enemy, like I'll, I'll say I'll make your life a living hell. Cause I don't think I personally have the power or the patience or the like, the, the, what's it called again? The that tension span to literally sit there and work about your life you know i don't have that much time on my hands to do that but like if you want to go ahead and go toe to toe with me like my mom raised me up and she has some very quick very quick very quick responses like she grew me up well <laughs> she did you know so i think that's i think that's where i got my my, my mind side right that's what my mom is actually no, my mom's a fighter and she's a, and she's a, I, I like, she's a genius though. Like she can, I'm not saying she can like talk her way. Like, <laughs> okay, the next commentary, I'm going to talk about the highlights of my mom because she deserves it. She is something else. She is something else. The things that she does, I'll talk about in the next one, but she, she's something else. She's, she's a work of, <laughs> I don't even know. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this commentary here. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all got to know a little bit more about me. Again, comment of the day. What is your pet peeve about yourself? Let me know down below and I'll see you in the next one. I thought this is peace. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the build. See you in the next one. See you links will be down below. There you guys go. Bye guys. Have a great day. Stay safe. I'll see you then. Bye guys. Love y'all. Why do I keep on doing? I don't know why I'm kissing y'all, but you know what? Kisses to you, cause I love you. Nobody can tell me a thing to do. Because kisses to you, because I love you. Oh, I do love you. Boom!